Awesome, dude. Thank you very much for uh, sitting through that. That was uh, 50s Manhattan, produced by Jesse James, uh, one of my favorite music composers and one of my favorite tracks, really. wanted to share that with you guys because um, that's something that uh, I listen to, usually, or music like that, uh, when I go into uh, inking pages or when I start drawing pages. Um, it's a long process. It really is. Um, cause you, I'm not going to say it. You guys already know. Uh, the page, uh, this video was... Um, sped up by like 300 percent and uh, it was about 16 minutes long to do uh, was there to compose the actual video and even then i had to cut some out because it was a lot of footage but inking a page you know can take a couple of what is it good amount of time in a day so when i ink my pages or when i draw my pages it's um I usually do it. I usually do it with a uh, distraction somewhere or some white noise in the back. Whether it's music, whether it's a podcast, whether it's um, a show that I really like listening to. Sometimes I don't even need to listen or actually watch a show. Sometimes I just want to listen to it and um, just enjoy it. I know. I know. I'm saying um a lot. I'm really trying my best to not do that. <laughs> and this this is a shout out to somebody who might be watching this later. Yes, I'm talking to you. Who pointed out that I say um a lot in my demo videos, and this is my second one. So yeah, <laughs> I'm really trying my best. Oh, see, I almost did it there again. <laughs> this um this video is a little differently because I remember doing the last demo video for one panel, I think it was for chapter two, I believe. This is uh, chapter five, page 11. This is Calavera's uh, backstory. And um, I hope you guys are enjoying it, by the way. I am certainly enjoy it, enjoying it. When I read the script that Danny uh, wrote up, it was phenomenal. I loved it, I loved it. It was, it was gritty, it was dark, it was, um, it was really something that I really wanted to draw. So when I received the script, I um, got right. I got right to it. I, you know, designed some of the character. Uh, designed uh, not designed some of the characters, but I redrew them according to uh, Danny's notes. Uh, really helpful, by the way. Thanks a lot, Danny, for providing those. And um, I loved. I I grew up. What is it? Kind of liking the whole '80s. Uh, what is it? Style comic books where it was like you know mean, gritty, and I read a lot of Cable and I read a lot of Punisher. Um, Oh, uh, actually, you know, not '80s, uh, not '80s comics, '90s comics. There we go. That's that's when those were. Uh, that's when those were coming out. I have a lot of those. I have a, I have a ton of those, and I loved the weapon designs, and I loved the um, extreme angles. You know, the uh, the motion, the motion lines. You know, when someone is, uh, you know, yelling someone out, or um, moving really fast. Those were always appealing, and I I had a lot of vision for what was going to happen in this book when uh what is it when i read the uh, script and I, I got excited i just i hope you guys are enjoying it the point <laughs> the point being is that i hope you guys are enjoying the book so far um this demo video i think i think i tangent it off yeah um it's different because i'm showing you guys the whole process uh the process of the entire page or at least a majority of it um i already had a couple panels done at the very top and um jumping uh jump straight to the first one uh it's not reversed it was uh it was right side up <laughs> when you guys saw it when we uh, came in today and um yeah i just wanted to show you uh what is it going from panel to panel and the differences uh, between what i do because not every panel is done the same way it isn't what you are going to notice though what you probably did notice is that i stuck to paintbrush uh, i love i fell in love with it i know i was doing uh pens, I was doing microns, I was doing high techs and other brushes and even nibs. Um, so I moved over to nibs for a while because um, the ink just flowed out so beautifully, uh, especially when I moved over to these new boards. Um, I was using Canson art, uh, comic book art boards and then I uh, moved over to Blue Line Pro, which aren't bad. They're really not. They're really nice. They're so smooth and they're, they take the ink so well, like they don't soak it up and they don't uh, make the um, what is it the uh, the, uh, the black any black areas uh, any lighter because of the ink soak up. It's it actually it's actually it actually treats me. <laughs> Sorry, really nice. The um, I moved over brush because of the amount of texture and the amount of hatching that uh, I would eventually do. And I'll be honest, I loved the style of uh, what is it Jim Lee. I know. 
he uses some brush, and even uh, Jonathan Gloppian. Uh, I, know, I know I talked about him before, uh, and used some of his techniques to do some of my pages, but I loved their art style. I loved that they were using brush, and I think this one I'm using right now is a size 1 or a size 2, I think. Maybe even smaller. Um, but I just fell in love with it. It felt right. It just felt tremendous, and it, I hope it, I hope it's making the artwork look good. Yeah, you know, I hope, I'm gonna trust you guys to let me know in the comments somewhere. Um, let me know if you know the artwork looks and if it's helping it or not. Um, I would love some feedback. Anything, anything at all. Um, oh, see, there you go. I'm saying um again. <laughs> it's really helped because the book has been uh, has been going into or it's always been uh, in black and white format. There's been really no color. If there has been color, it's been really limited, and there's nothing really wrong with that. I loved the style of, uh, what is it, uh, Sin City, and the high contrast that uh, was uh, in that book. The effects were phenomenal. And when I was reading those books, I was like, wow, that's 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 really good. It's, it's, it's impressive just to, just to utilize black and white in so many various ways, um, including using it for texture and using it for motion lines and using it for action lines and whatnot. It was impressive, and I just wanted, I wanted so long to maybe imitate that somehow. So when, um, when I started off doing comics for uh, Chris and he told me it was going to be black and white only, it was going to be a little, a little bit of a challenge because usually you depend on shades and gradients uh, to the color artist uh, when you're drawing your books and when you're drawing your pages uh, for the shading and for any textures really. Some some textures I know that I know that uh, some artists like to you know do a lot of hatch lines and do a lot of stippling for uh, textures on things. Oops, sorry, I'm sorry about that. So when I moved over to brush, it was just a, it was a godsend. It was. Oh my god, this is so helpful, especially with the type of brush that I'm using. And hey, fun fact, <laughs> fun fun little, you know, doohickey right here. That brush I'm using is actually from a makeup kit. I'm not lying, that's from a makeup kit. It's like really small. It's half the size of a normal brush, so I had to like really hold it right up against the right up against the, uh, the hairs. <laughs> you know what? It's working great. I have a whole bunch of them because they're, you know, nice and cheap. And, you know, they're not expensive like the uh, like some of the other brushes of this with the sable hairs. Uh, don't get me wrong, I want one of those. I really want one of those. Uh, babe, can I get one of those, please? <laughs> For my Christmas wish list. Um, but yeah, no, it's been working great. And I love the way that the brush uh, takes the ink. I love it how it uh, executes it on the page. Especially when I'm doing those really quick hash lines. I'm getting, hopefully, I'm getting a lot better at that. Again, I'm, I'm counting on you guys to let me know if I'm getting better or not. Um, but yeah, the brush has been really helping me a lot. I can't really tell you um, how how to use a brush because that's something that I think everybody needs to find out on their own. Everybody uses a brush differently. Where you know they're you know, pushing it down with high pressure, you know, get those really thick black lines, and then you know really lightly running it across the page and getting those nice fine lines. I've, I'm not an expert in brush using, but I can tell you that it can be really helpful if you know how to utilize it. Going from thick to thin, you know, in an instant, has been a really, has really big help. You couldn't do that with a pen nib. You really couldn't. And well, I guess it depends on you know what kind of nib you're using. But the nib I was using was helpful for a long time, especially when I was doing um, cityscapes and backgrounds that required you know, heavy perspective and straight lines. It's been really, it was really helpful. But I just needed to tra uh, transition to another, another medium, another type of uh, tool. And the paintbrush, uh, the small brush, has been really helpful. So, again, I would really appreciate some feedback. So, what's going on? Uh, did I miss anything? Did I brought up? No, yeah. Really, that's the only difference. Uh, I'm using a brush only. And I'm showing you guys the uh, more panels than last time. So, yeah. <laughs> it might be a little longer. Sorry about that. Um, but I like uh, I like this. So, hey, and if you guys like these videos, uh, let me know, please. I will uh, I will start doing more of them if you guys really like it. So, any updates? Uh, myself, personally, we are on a really good track. We're going to, uh, on page 11, or actually on page 12 by this Friday, um, 
if uh, we haven't already transitioned whenever this video is published. <laughs> I'm on page 12, um, but it's looking good. It's looking good. I'm going to be working on page six, uh, chapter 6 pretty soon, and then we'll start ser serializing for actual storylines instead of uh, backstories, because you guys already know who these characters are. And, um, you know, keep checking westcoastcomics.net. I know Chris has his own uh, YouTube channel now. Really funny stuff on there, and his Let's Plays are hilarious. I love I love watching, watching those. Those are really good. Uh, for my end, uh, oh, uh, sorry, Chris. We're going to do a little personal mar uh, personal marketing here. A little uh, <laughs> a little commercial for myself. I started my own studio. In case you guys ever want to follow uh, some of my work, uh, we don't have a website up yet, or we do. We do have a domain, but the uh, unfortunately it's under construction right now. Um, but you can check out our material at uh, Facebook slash facebook.com slash Blind Eye Studios. That's all one word, Blind Eye Studios. Um, it's a studio that my friend and I from uh, CSUN wanted to uh, start up because we wanted to get into animation. We wanted to start producing our own material. So what we started doing was uh, making podcasts, uh, audio, you know, you guys know what podcasts are. And we just talk about random stuff. We just talk about random geek stuff. Um, and then we're, we're going to be producing our first web show pretty soon, hopefully within the next couple months. I hope you guys uh, what is it? check those out. So, yeah, I mean, that's really pretty much it. You know, it looks like I'm running out of time. So, what is it? Thank you guys again for viewing this video. Um, I would love some feedback again. Uh, like that says, thanks for watching. Be sure to go to westcoastcomics.net for weekly updates. Thanks a lot, guys. See ya.